<laughs> he smells it. <laughs> High five. Oh, other one. Up. Come on. Good boy. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> Today's a little bit different video. Uh, it's more so an update on what's going on, or sorry, what's going on, what has happened, and what's happening, and what has happened basically, and so on and so forth, and how we've come to this. So, let me just bring you around a little bit, and we'll get more into it. Alright, so, uh, what's been happening, what's going on, and what's happened? So, I'm going to let her explain some of it. Oh boy. Well, for starters, well, <laughs> for starters, roughly the middle of August, we got a eviction notice, which <laughs> it happens every day, unfortunately. We got, <sighs> it, it's been, it's been a lot to take in. So, yeah, roughly in the middle of August, we got an eviction notice. We looked for a place, couldn't find anything. I ended up buying a camper after a lot of searching and a lot of tears and everything else. Yeah, so I took my vacation pay, bought a camper, and, well, that's what we're living in now. So, that's what's happened. What's happening now is we're still trying to get things sorted, situated, more organized to what we need inside the camper as opposed to what we want. need. So, right now, for cookware we have one big frying pan which we use well actually back to the apartment we use a lot um <coughs> so we have that we have our basic utensils like your forks your spoons your knives we have a couple um spatulas we have the necessities you would need for a kitchen. Yeah, basics. Without overdoing it. Yeah. Our, our silverware drawer is only small, so I mean it's limited to what we can put in it. But we got our, our sporks, yeah. Our we forks, got one of those in there too. <laughs> our, forks and not, our forks and spoons in the drawer. I got a couple can openers. A couple, I don't know, odds and ends things. And our... our Butter knives and sharp knives. Our, our sharper knives. We got the sharper knives with the blade down so we don't cut ourselves or cut herself. <laughs> uh, butter knives, we got them standing straight up, obviously, because they're duller than a paper clip. So um, we have our basic blankets, we have our, our food. We so, but as I mentioned before, for our cookware, I'm u we're using a little um, some camp cookware that I have. I got like like three pots. I got two frying pans. I got my antique can opener, which she can't really use all that great. It's not difficult to use, but I found a, my can opener. I'm good now. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a knack for it, right? So I mean, whatever. Um, 
yeah, so basically we are at we had we she got the camper, we got the papers and everything, and the camper is now up at her parents' place on their side yard. So I don't know if you can see or not, but you can see my four wheeler there. Uh, beside that is uh, Holly's parents' camper. So I mean, uh, there's plenty of room here. Uh, we have the lot beside the shed, which we have a nice greenish nice. lawn side lawn. It's better than what we had at the apartment. We had to come out, come out the front door on the sidewalk to walk around to the back there. Which home hardware was yeah, right home, behind yeah, us. Uh, yeah. Well, for all you Canadians, home hardware, you know what that is. Department hardware, lumber store thing. So that was our backyard pretty much and a, and a pizza joint. But the bonus was the trail was right across the road. So that was the only bonus and besides being close to coffee shops, you know, Tim Hortons would it be Robbins, uh, gas stations would be Irving or Petro Canada, um, pizza place right next door, hardware store in the backyard, um, you name it, it was pretty much within walking distance. Even the liquor store, two of them, kinda. Well, there's your NSLC on one side, Come back a little bit and across the other side down a side street was a little nano brewery. So we would we end up going start going to the nano brewery quite often. Whenever we wanted to. Milo, come here. Come here. Come here and sit down. Come here, be a good boy. Come here, doofus. Flies. But yeah. So it was nice being in proximity <coughs> of everything. Yeah. But in the end, it's nice being back home literally for, i'm back home for her <laughs> for her for, for me, me i wasn't really partial to living up on a mountain away from everything and everybody but you know what it's kind of growing on you isn't it <laughs> i've lived on 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 a mountain before when i was growing up i lived with my grandmother down well down way down yonder so but man, it took me, it took about 20 minutes or so to drive from home to town. For me to walk it, it took between two and two and a half hours. It was like 15 kilometers or more, I think. Something like that anyways, something retarded. But I did it many times. So, but, uh, what do you say we went for a tour of the, uh, the new home all right guys we're gonna go in there's holly there's milo right there we have that for the cats and cat you'll cat. understand why in a minute so i said there's my wheeler there's her parents camper piece of um uh plywood that's there that's going to, going to go for the skirting around the trailer i have two more pieces that's going around so for the skirting so we're going to try and keep it up to probably about here. Nah, probably to about here for around, all the way around. Wood pile, there's Holly's four-wheeler. It's not running right now, but... Yeah, she makes a good lawn ornament. <laughs> it makes a good lawn ornament. So anyways, Milo's water bucket. So, the front door to the home. Watch the cats. And watch the cats. And here we go, We're inside. So, let's brighten it up a little bit. Turn the light on her too. Turn the light on her too, okay. Cat, we have Nugget. We have Monkey Cat right here. Right here we have Jersey. We have Little One right here. This little one, and right here is Timbit. Um, let me see where the rest of them are. So, we'll find them in a minute. So, there's the entertainment center, slash eating area, slash dog bed. So, <laughs> our table, we sit right here and eat, basically right there. 
My Xbox is on TV. I know it's close, but that's all we have for right now. We have a storage right here, which is not much of anything. Uh, another storage right here. We have some... I can't really show you because it's dark. Uh, just different stuff in there. Can't really tell because everything's all dark. But over there, we have a box full of uh, perk coffee. Just odds and ends up there. Our food. Right there. For the most part. Cups and mugs and spices and all that stuff is up there. I know you can't really see it that great. Because of lighting. And there we have cinnamon. 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 Under here in the box we have Kahlua. She's, she's very antisocial. Front door, here we have a propane furnace, which we hope to get running very soon. Any comments about it would be much appreciated. Yes, if anybody knows how to get that dang propane furnace working, any comments would be great. I would really, really appreciate that, because, to be honest with you, kind of half scared of the damn thing. Uh, cinnamon meow, because she wants to get outside, but no dice, kitty cat. So here we have a, just a junk drawer. More storage up there. And these two. Uh, there's the bed. Our blanket storage slash cat bed. There's Scout. She's in the dark. She likes to be back here. She's a very she's half Maine Coon and half Siamese, as I do believe. Uh, curtains and whatnot. Uh, closet full of clothes. There's our bathroom, which we're not using it for. We're basically using that for uh, draw. Uh, sorry, clean clothes, Holly's work clothes, and dirty laundry. Um, there, I know it's dingy. I apologize. Our propane stove, our sink, our countertop, and our fridge, and our frigginator. Uh, here's the. Utensil drawer, forks and spoons and can openers. There's other stuff over there. Uh, under here is our. Oh, we got bread under there. Yeah, I'm sorry for the lighting, guys. Really am. Our pots, pans, and jazz. Storage all over the place. We got storage under here. My drill, I got odds and ends in there. Storage underneath of the bench here. We have animal food. So, and then, whoops, back outside again. And I apologize again for the terrible lighting on the inside. So, I'll bring you back around. Put you back on the tripod. Just like so. And now you're safe again. Ta-da! Yes, bud, what? You gonna say hi to the people? Hold on, hold on. I don't. There. Now. What? I'll say it again. I do apologize for the bad lighting on the inside. I know 12 volt lights don't give off a whole heck of a lot, but hey, it works. So. But anywho, um, I think. I think that's about it. I think could give you a little tour of the property, but I don't think her parents would appreciate it, appreciate that a whole lot. So we'll just basically we'll just say like it's like a an acre and a half of lot. So we have like nice lawn. We have a backyard for him to run and play if he wants to. He's on his chain a lot. He's outside almost like twenty eight hours out of a day. If, if you let him. Um, he seems a lot more relaxed up here, too. Yeah. He's not so high strung, running to the window, barking at people. What? What? What do you smell on my shirt? Is it dirt? But it's I, nice actually being away no from cookies, the hustle and bustle of everything. Sit I don't miss the noise. Sit. Sit your bum.
Give him another treat, I guess. Being a good boy. All right. Let's see if he does something different. What do you do for this one? Come on. Up. Good boy. Ready? One, two, three. Good boy. He likes his treats. So that's what's been going on, what's been happening, what's happened, where I've been. Oh, where I've been. That's right. So where I've been, and I haven't put any videos out since, well, you guys just seen the video of me and my dad from back in July. So from March until then, I was helping a friend of mine with his pressure washing business, you know, three, four, maybe five days a week, some days, right? So um, other times, if I only did like a couple days for with him, then I'd be doing other stuff for other people. So, and then after when that was done, between that and me going to doctor's appointments, um, Holly going to work, uh, me not being able to get out due to my asthma now, which is random and out of the blue. So, back and forth, different appointments from the doctor, the breathing specialist, and this and that, and just working, and and then I get onto a babysitting job. And so that was five days a week. Some some days it was six. So or some weeks it was six. Sorry, um, so I haven't really had much time to do anything. And then on top of it, we end up getting evicted and having to pack up and this was just one big old cluster junk of stuff. So now that we're moved and kind of half-fast situated here, um, get things more organized, cow mowing the grass over here, so we can, well, I can, um, going to scout out different locations where I can go camping and do videos and they'll get entangled around the trees and lights and everything. Um, eating grass, mowing the lawn. And asking permission from different people to see if I can use their property. Which I do have permission from the neighbor to use his 20 acres. So I've yet to explore that, and I'm going to do that probably within the next few days. With, yeah, within the next few days. So we're very busy. Next week, next more Next busy than likely. couple of days. And then trying to get the trailer skirted and basically winterize and best way we can with what we have, which is next to nothing. But we'll make do with what we have, I guess, for now. Mom and Dad have been a really good help. Yeah, and I'm sure they appreciate my help up here. Even though I'm not working, but I can help other ways. So, with all that being said, ta da! <laughs> I'm here. We're here. Oh, another won't... thing I did, I ended up having to take some time off work as well. Yeah. To deal so... with everything. I haven't had a chance to. No to... time to process nothing. It so. was pretty much pack, move, and go. There was yeah. no, I, and with everything going on with mom, her health isn't the greatest. No. So it's nice to be able to be up here to help them when needed. And it makes them feel a little bit at ease too, yeah. knowing that somebody's here. Yeah. So. so is it nice to be home? Yes. Did I want to come back home? No, not really, but <laughs> hey. They took care of me for 18 years. I guess I can repay the favor. That's what families do. Great. And then there's me. But you've been a good help too, so. <laughs> so, the only other family that's helped me besides my own family, so. And half my family are assholes. <laughs> Plain and simple. Half my family's assholes. 
Sorry for the language, but that's Some, just how it is. Sometimes it's just the truth. You know, there's my dad, he helped me out. Actually, just a few months ago, he helped me out straight when he was home. Uh, before, before he came home, he, he, he helped me out. I got support from my other family members that are in Ontario. Um, some family members that are out west in British Columbia. Right? Um, but none that are local. There's a few that are local that I talk to here and there. Then there's a couple that are just assholes. Assholes. <laughs> plain and simple. Excuse my French. Yeah, plain and simple. So, but on a brighter note, I got more places to go camping and some new places for you guys to see. And some of them are just wow. Yeah. It's like I've been down that way. Now I'm up here. There's stuff that way that I did not know was there. As far as that goes, I didn't even know it was there. And I grew up here. <laughs> Just goes to show what an ATV can do. You can explore and find different places. Does not spill my coffee. He's not careful. I'll hurt him. No, I won't. Get over here, Dodo Brain. Get over here and sit for a minute. There you go. Sit your bum. Oh, there we go. And maybe before a snow flies, if Polly wants to, we'll go camping and we'll bring we'll bring you know who with us for a night. See how he does. He did pretty good the very first time he went camping when yeah. we took the kids. Yeah, but any who's that's our update for you. Yep, yeah, it's an update. And a wrap up for this video, I do believe. Sorry for the rambling. Well, up, that's what update videos do. So we didn't do much. We should have had a fire going and cooking steak or something. But uh, we gotta go to the grocery store. <laughs> we got no money until tomorrow. You you mean baloney, right? <laughs> no, that's gone. I ate, already ate that in sandwiches for my lunch. Oh well. So we got no meat. Well, it's in the deep freeze, but it's. Mm, Saving that for a camping trip. So to get different stuff, I go to the grocery store. But anywho, we're going to end it right here. Milo's going to say bye. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Till the next one. Catch you later. Later. See you, buddy. What do you think? No good boy. Look at him! <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, see you later. Here's <laughs> a good boy. <laughs>